What do you mean, offline? I don't know. She's not responding. I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. Commander, comm systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. See if you can get to Edie. I'll check the AI core. Problem isn't here. Systems all look green on my board. You sure? Maybe something was miscalibrated. You do know who you're talking to, right? Garrus. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. Whatever's wrong with the Normandy isn't down here. Besides, after what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. What you saw back on Palavin is proof of that. Still not convinced I should have left it behind. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow I'm still alive. And he's not. Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along? We're actually respectable now. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember. A certain Turian friend of yours isn't sleeping any better, and he'd be more than happy to meet you at the bar and drink you under the table. Something else you want to talk about? You mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long has it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape.
Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. I'm going in. Edie, talk to me. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever tests you can, then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just. Don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that, we can agree. Greetings, Commander Shepard. Huh. What are you? I'm Glyph, a VI assistant to Dr. Tassoni. I help her sort and catalog collected data. She's asked me to draw your attention to a terminal connected to her information network. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Liara? What is all this stuff? After you left for Earth, I had the chance to track down the information trader who'd kidnapped my friend. It wasn't easy, but I found the Shadow Broker and took over his information network. You're running that from the Normandy? What I can. Not all of the old Broker's networks remained intact, but I have agents. So you took over as the galaxy's most... famous information trader? Notorious might be a better term. At least it means I can help research this Prothean device. It's far too dangerous to use until we understand it. We can figure out what it does later. Our priority is getting it built. Just give me some warning before you flip the switch. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. There's still a lot of people alive down there. I have to remember that. 
You will. It's the war we warned everyone about for years. And if I know you, Shepard, you'll make them proud. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Please, enjoy your day. I found something suspicious. Have you got a minute? Commander, are you all right? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I did not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. This sounds like a job for an evac transport. Right, and a Turian transport responded to their distress call. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Put it on the map. Adding it now, Commander. this against all known locations and update the map. Then contact the field teams for a progress report. Yes, sir. Oh, Commander Shepard. We've been expecting you. Just a moment. And Hadley, could you gather the Leviathan data for us? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. What's your assignment? Our mandate is to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. Could have used your help three years ago. Yes. If people had paid attention to your warnings about the Reapers, we might not be in this war. But now with new information we've uncovered, a breakthrough's near. 
Hadley, do you have the data? No! This is Commander Shepard. I need C-Sec at my location, now! You shouldn't be here. The darkness can't be breached. Transit records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. Shepard, I monitored a C-Sec alert from this location. Were you harmed? I'm fine. But I could use your help sorting this out, Edie. Take a look through their files. I need to know what this task force was up to. At once. What? I... What's happening? You just shot your boss. He's dead. Why? After you arrived, it was dark. Cold. Like I was somewhere else. That wasn't me. Take a good look. You did that. You pulled the trigger and killed him. No. No. I couldn't have. No! I'm not a murderer! So someone else pulled that trigger? But I would never do that! Commander, this does resemble reports of indoctrination. Indoctrination? Me? What about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you want to... What's wrong? Turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Damn it. Get him over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with him. Yes, sir. Commander, you'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating, I think we're really onto something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. What could have killed the Reaper in the first place? Exactly. That's the real Leviathan. It's worth pursuing. Continue your investigation and update me on the progress. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Almost an apex predator, and it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, Doctor. Find that thing. It appears we were meant to be that assistance. I see Bryson's point. Anything capable of bringing a Reaper down is worth finding. Despite the potential dangers it could pose, I would agree. But we won't know unless we can find it. Bryson's assistant did say they recently received a log from their field researcher. It may yield more information. This must be the artifact the assistant mentioned. And here's the log. Dr. Bryson, it's Garneau. I'm sending you an artifact I found. About the only thing I found there, in fact. Maybe it's nothing, but... I'd swear Leviathan came through here. I'm gonna crunch some numbers. Burn up the rest of this project travel allowance. Maybe I can project our Reaper killer's movements. I'll check in when I get to the next site. Garneau appears to be our best lead to track Leviathan. But he does not stay to destination. He's out there somewhere, and we need him. I'll do what I can. Bryson and his colleagues evidently used a galaxy map search program in their hunt for Leviathan. It may help us locate Garneau. Does this tell us where Garneau went? No, but we may be able to narrow down his location if we find clues he was using in his search for Leviathan.
These are all murders in which the accused lacked a known... Here's the time and date chart for the crimes. Can you filter for murders where the killer claimed memory loss? Adding the search filter. You may examine the results on the galaxy map. Sir, this is Bryson. We know the Reapers are after Leviathan. Studying Reaper hunting patterns could be vital to finding it. That date is classified top secret, Dr. Bryson. If it falls into the wrong hands... It won't. The data's encrypted. I'll keep the decryption key safe. Close to my heart. Close to his heart? What the hell does that mean? The Reaper fleet activity is encrypted, per Bryson's statement in the log. He said he was keeping the decryption. Sovereign. Hope they've got that thing shielded. Bryson was tracking unexplained creature sightings. Bryson was not merely tracking sightings. He was attempting to extrapolate a course. And Garneau could have been following that course. Edie, can you add a search filter for systems along that projected path? Adding this search filter to the galaxy map. Meteorite fragment, maybe? He was studying it as an object of importance. Meteorite sample. With traces of element zero. Would Leviathan need Ezo? While it is not consumed as fuel during FTL travel, element zero will decay after several centuries of active use. If Leviathan is old enough, it would need to replenish its supplies. Okay. Can you give me a search filter for locations with element zero? Adding the search filter now. Looks like data on the Rachni by Anne Bryson. March 7th, 2186. I'm looking at the Rachni. Their movements during the Rachni Wars suggest alien influence. But the timing is wrong, and Rachni weren't implanted with Reaper tech. What if Leviathan was preparing the Rachni to fight the Reapers? What do you think, Edie? It is possible that Bryson's team is using ancient Rachni fleet activity to find Leviathan. We saw a data pad containing data on Rachni movements earlier. It may be relevant. By Anne Bryson. Age 9. Records indicate Anne is now 28. She works for the Alliance. Bryson was keeping the encryption key close to his heart. What's closer than family? Take a look at that. I can use these numbers to construct a decryption key. All right, let's get back to the data pad we found earlier. Dr. Bryson, per your request, I'm clearing Task Force Aurora for intercepted Batarian communications regarding the Leviathan of Dis. Element zero deposits. Based on the search results, Garno is in one of these five systems. I have marked the Normandy map with possible locations. We can leave now, unless you wish to further narrow the search. Sightings. Three possibilities. Blackout crimes? No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant.
bastards had. Hey, you ready to get this party started? So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally? Yes, and it only took CSEC three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Arya, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. I see. And now you've been processed. Is there anything else? Nothing. Thank you. Anytime. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my shit list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. If it were me, I'd want revenge. Glad to see we think alike. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. Give a criminal a gun, he'll shoot you in the back. They already have guns, Shepard. I'll make sure they point them at the Reapers. I'm trying to help you. Why don't you think it over? Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later.
Commander, the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard Varen you unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Whether you like it or not, we need Krogan help to win this war. And what happens when the war is over? We'll find a new way to keep the peace. And they'll break it. Enough! This is all theoretical. It would take years to formulate a cure. There's no time. My information says otherwise. A Salarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. He succeeded. Then, you sent in a team to clean up his mess and take the females prisoner. Where did you get this? It... it could be a fabrication. Don't insult me! Those are my people! They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back! Dalatras, is this true? How well, will curing the genophage benefit my people? How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkash. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be felt for centuries to come. Let's go get them. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Specter, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most.
This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them home, Rex. You've waited long enough for this day. A lifetime. I appreciate the assist, Garrus. Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. Retrieving the female should be a simple matter. Who's the synthetic? I'm Edie, the Normandy's artificial intelligence. Sounds like Joker didn't teach you anything about Solarians. Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dolatris authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex! No! We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? moments ago. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable for Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist he remain under guard. <clears throat> and if we insist otherwise? You'll have another war on your hands. If anything goes wrong, and all bets are off. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Careful! Watch the containment shield! I believe that species is the Yogg. Not a happy one. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tachanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This old planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Attention biolabs. Please prepare for yard specimen arrival. A cipher analyst over in 80 now? Told me the can't hold out much longer. Another incursion? Air defenses report unidentified craft skirting our inbound approach vectors. It's like someone's testing our defenses. Appears that way, sir. I don't like it. Not with everything else going on. Commander Shepard, I'm Lieutenant Tolan. I've heard about your exploits against the Reapers. All of it good, I hope. Your mission on Vermeer holds special renown in STG. The assistance you lent our team tipped the balance. But now, I'm not so sure. It sounds like you don't agree with what I'm doing here. You're upsetting a balance, and if you succeed, we're ill-prepared to face a resurgent Krogan. I hope you can keep it that way, Commander. Send confirmation to the You have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. What do you think about handing over the Krogan? I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the genophage will bring closure to this issue. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. We should let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not Galactic. Thanks for your time. Of course. We can proceed into the elevator when you're ready.
What's happening? Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. We should get moving, Commander. Hopefully this is nothing. I thought you said the alert was nothing. But it might be something. These are the females. I'm afraid they didn't survive. What? Malin's cure compromised their immune systems. Did you even attempt to save them? With every technique our science could muster, no effort was spared. Commander, Erdnard Rex only knows about this because I told him. You're his inside source? He had the right to know. One female did respond to treatment. She's immune to the genophage, and the only hope the Krogan have left. She refuses to tell us her name. Trust has been an issue. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? I can't imagine what she's been through. Erdnot Rex and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? You're the future of the Krogan race. I'm fighting for that. Then I hope you brought an army. Alert. Unidentified vessels have breached the perimeter. Give me an update. Outbound communications have been severed. We're cut off. Secure all data to off-site location. What's happening? We have multiple ships inbound. Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. What? So the Solarians can kill her like the others? No deal. If you still want this alliance, get her out of there. Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimen. Protocol has been overridden. Do it! Commander, I'll need to accompany the bot through the quarantine process. You should meet us at the next checkpoint. It seems clear Cerberus doesn't want the genophage cured. Wicks, no scratches. Everything depends on her. Understood. Get back to the elevator, Commander. Something's wrong with the elevator. It's not responding. There. Try it now, Commander. Oh, crap. Get back! Are you all right? Is there another way out of here? Shepard, we can't afford delay. We should leave this area. Shepard, it's Rex. I took the shuttle. Do whatever it takes to get the female up to the landing pad. I'll try to make life miserable for Cerberus. Take 
never ceases to surprise me. Guess he didn't like the food. Works for me.
Cerberus isn't fooling around. They're capable of anything. Their tactics have grown even more vicious since I was acquainted with them. Orion squad, go orders on a hold position and block access to next checkpoint. Do Head to head will get us ripped up, Shepard. Flanking maneuver may be a better approach. Checkpoint. I'm sure Cerberus isn't done. is right. Cerberus was tipped off. They got here too fast. Every war has its traitors. some sort of power conduit around here. 